All right, so this is the Daniel Boone hut area. I've seen this before in another video I have here. But I just wanted to kind of see it again. It's pretty interesting though. He might have stayed a night right down there past that gate. Some awesome history back there. dirt road here so the camera's a little bumpy so I gotta work on that maybe there's a stabilizer app or something but on this long road going up to Oxia Ridge right now I think it's like three miles long it'll be in about an hour I don't know if you can see it but it's finally starting to look like spring it's about time that spring got here Okay, we made it up to Oxier Ridge. Beautiful area up here. I have a more in-depth video that takes a look at this area in way fuller detail, but I wanted to come down and do a couple extra things. We're gonna stay at Hanson's Point tonight. See the lookout there. In the morning, we're gonna do Gray's Arch. And then we're gonna try to find Indian Staircase and Cloud Splitter along with a couple other views, which I'm not sure their names right now. I have a map of where stuff is, but should be pretty good. Can't wait, really excited about tomorrow. Excited about today too, don't get me wrong. But like I said, I've seen all this stuff. Tomorrow is just gonna be all new territory. That'd be really neat. Beautiful day for this. It's going up to 70 today, yeah, clear skies. Tomorrow is going to be like cloudy, partly cloudy, similar temperatures, and going down to 46 tonight. So it's going to be really neat. You got four turkey vultures in the tree straight ahead. They all just flew in there right as we came down. It's pretty cool. Okay, just stopping to have a little lunch. It's, uh, I think it's like 1 to 1 30, maybe 1 o'clock. Having a chicken flavor rice and pasta blend and a savory chicken flavored sauce with other natural flavors. And you're having some ramen? Yeah, I'm having ramen. Ramen, gotcha. So pretty good hike so far. Still trying to figure out if we're going to go to Courthouse Rock Trail or Hidden Arch. Not sure. Uh, last time I was here, Hidden Arch was really cool. We saw it from the opposite ridge on Oxia Ridge, but... There was a really long road walk, and I just kind of don't want to do that today. So maybe stick with the trail and see where Courthouse goes. I've never been on Courthouse Rock Trail, so we'll see what happens. All right, just got done with lunch, about quarter to two, and decided to do the Courthouse Rock Trail, which has been pretty nice so far. It's like an old, almost a really old dirt road back in the day that's kind of just grew up. But... This is pretty nice, never seen this trail yet. I'm liking it. Seems pretty mild compared to the, can't remember, the connector trail that goes from Courthouse Rock over to the hidden arch loop. So we'll get done with this, then we'll uh, walk that road back, get into the heart of the gorge, and we'll go to Hanson's Point, and hopefully we can camp up there. Hopefully there's not too many people but we've seen a ton of people so far. I gotta stop looking at the screen and look at the camera. It's gonna be a problem. <laughs> Pretty sure this is Haystack Rock. We're about halfway done with this trail, this portion. It's pretty neat. So the complete wall surrounding us all the way over. Okay, still on that road. It's about three miles long. 
I think we came about two and a half so far, maybe a little less. But we're both out of water. Definitely, definitely thirsty. Definitely need some water. I'm not sure where to get it. I think, uh, I think pinch them tight, which is where we're heading. So we're heading the rough trail 221. I think pinch them tight has some kind of water on it. If not, we're gonna go to the uh, rough ridge trail and then go over to rough trail and then over to Hanson's Point because I'm pretty sure between Rough Ridge and Hanson's Point there's a some small stream because I remember I was here last time and I got it so that's the game plan we'll see if it happens okay <laughs> that was a pain I had to go all the way down to Shelter We Trace way down there almost by the intersection at the bottom of the hill with rough trail and go get some water so i'm carrying four liters right now we got six liters between us but anyway we're heading back up going to hansen's point hopefully before the sun sets should be fine on time it's uh 5 30 right now so should be good but we're getting tired we're at 17 and a half miles for the day okay found the entrance to hansen's point now it's the 20 minute walk to the uh, peak, but if we see a good campsite, then we'll definitely be staying there, dropping off our packs, setting up camp, and then head to the overlook after that. But, yep, it's pretty much this for quite a ways. checked out Hanson's Point. There's a lot of people up here, to say the least, but I kind of expected that on a Saturday, so. Hanging out my clothes to dry, <laughs> and I'll be here all night. So, did pretty good. We ended up doing like 19.2 miles or something like that, after the little water mishap. And tomorrow I think we're going to do probably a about 12 to 14 I'm not really sure it depends on what we find so definitely gonna see Gray's Arch and definitely gonna try for a cloud splitter in Indian staircase so with that unless something awesome happens tonight I'll see you in the morning for day two okay just packed up camp went over to Hanson's Point and saw the sunrise pretty cool but it was really overcast real cloudy so couldn't really see anything. We were the first ones down there too. Anyway, uh, I'm a bit tired today. People were just ignorant all night. Sorry for the rant, but you know, people wooing like they were in, at a college party just all night. I think the last one I heard is 2 a.m. and I just put my earplugs in. So, yeah. That's why I like camping alone. I don't like sharing it with people. Unless, you know, people that I know, obviously. Anyway, we're uh, heading out momentarily, going to Gray's Arch, and from there we're going to get back to the car, and then go up to Shelter We Trace by the Gladi Information Center and find Cloud Splitter and Indian Staircase. Oh, one of my favorite spots on Rough Trail. There's this big overhang. That's pretty cool. They fixed the signs here now, it's not confusing. I got lost last time I came down here. Having some much needed coffee. I am dragging today. Didn't sleep that much last night because all the yelling and everything, but we did make it to the beautiful Gray's Arch. It is pretty spectacular. I've seen this now three times and it just doesn't get old. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, a little bit of change of plans. I think both of us had a great trip and a couple things. We got another eight miles today if we did the Cloud Splitter Indian Staircase loop that I wanted to do. But I think I actually want to come back and do a section of the Shelter We Trace, in which case that's going to be a full length video. 
And I also want to see the Penguins game tonight because I didn't realize it, but there's a playoff game tonight. Plus, I'm a little sunburnt, but the girly over here <laughs> is completely burnt. And it was supposed to be pretty cloudy today, but the sun's out full force. We're stupid. We forgot to bring sunscreen. So with all that in mind, I think we're going to pass, and I'm going to come back down here for a long shelter we trace section hike. So I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. That and I'd really like to get Cloud Splitter and Indian Staircase and all that other stuff, you know, actually on film, you know, not vlog style. But I think this was a good test. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully it wasn't too shaky. I'm going to have to look at the footage when I get back. But uh, yeah, we'll see. There'll be a couple more of these videos and I'll probably end up releasing them to everybody. But for now, we're going to keep them to Patreon only because I greatly appreciate you guys. And I just wanted to say thank you very much. If you can think of anything that I can do better, things you'd like to see, this would be your typical vlog style. Don't hesitate to let me know. Um, you know, make suggestions. You know, tell me what I'm doing wrong by all means and I'll try to make it better. I'd like to learn everything before I actually hit the AT. Anyway guys, Froze with Outdoor Adventures, thanks for watching.